This is a medium sized dock I hung. This one, the box itself, is about 15 inches tall. It's heavy duty rubber feet at about three quarters of an inch. If you're, uh, if you're metric, that puts your total height off the floor at about 40 centimeters. This one has two oak striking surfaces, sewn hole, bongos on the side. How many cajones have that? Uh, I've had people ask me, oh, we see you from the waist down sitting on the cajon, uh, but we never see you. So my answer to that is, well, it's not about me. It's about the cajon. Now that's the room noise. It's what the mics on the little video recorder are picking up. That's a chamber here. And that divides the head in a non-symmetrical way and gives you areas where the surface is more and less floppy. It gives you all these different notes, pitches, tones, sweet spots, and the sensitivity that's built into these enables you to use hand and finger technique that just doesn't speak with the definition on most other cajones. what I'm doing here. See that offset makes these work a little bit easier if it's on the right side. I like to play with that rocking motion and then leave that area open for slapping, knocking. Another oak striking surface. Uh, most of the construction of this is Baltic birch which is a lightweight, strong plywood, which every ply is birch. It's got a really nice musical tone. The oak surfaces that I use, it's an eighth inch thick. It's three plies, one ply of oak and two backing plies of mahogany. And that gives you a really fat, strong base. And these, these are built uh, more like a piece of really nice cabinet work than what you see when you look inside most of the cajones that you look inside of. And I like the wood tone so much, I almost never use the snare. But uh, I know that snare sound is a big part of cajon playing, so I do build a snare into these. But, uh, also sounds a little bit different from anybody else's snare. Now that raspy growl you get, that's not distortion. That's the sound of the medium-sized dog snare.
Thank you.